The instructor said, turn that way and down the block. He's going to kick. And don't kick hard or you'll break my leg. Now step and punch him in the belly. And I said to my instructor, what happens to this guy's hands? Did you ever ask that question? I'm going to punch him in the belly. We're in a fight. I want to tell you what my instructor told me, because he was trying to think. He said, uh, I was a white belt. He said, you're a white belt. When you get uh, better trained in karate, you'll learn to hit so hard, his hands won't matter. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Here's the new one. I again asked, how do I know he's there when I knew the guy? My instructor again said, you're a white belt, and you're rather young, because that was about 40 years ago. I've been doing the martial arts for almost 40 years. He says, when you get older, you'll get more aware, and you'll know he's back there. I said, wow, I'll watch Grasshopper on Kung Fu. He always knows they're back there. I'm missing out on something. But I'm going to turn around, and I'm going to block your kick. Actually, you're messing up my crowd of days. You have to kick with that leg. <laughs> yeah, this, this is the way, this is what you're taught. Am I right or wrong? Okay, kick, block, punch. Now you kick. I don't know he's back there. Block, punch. Now I go this way. Block, punch. Gishin Funakoshi has a book called Karate Do Kohan. In 1955, well after the war, and he shows the pictures of this. And when you see that, what do you automatically think of or say? <laughs> Down the line. Gishin Funakoshi in 1955, in that book, they say there's a book from 1936 and 1917. They say that his book in 1955 is a copy of his 1917 book. First of all, the 1917 book he wrote in about 1911. In 1911, he would not have thought when he wrote that book in Japanese that there would be the communication between Japan and America like there is today, right or wrong. I mean, today, if I want to get you a copy of the book, I can fax it to you. Back then, we weren't even talking to that country, and, and we were still playing cowboys and Indians over here in 1911. 1911, we got that book. We got the book from 1917 and 1936, and if you look at the pictures, you don't need to read Japanese, but you'll see in the pictures that every picture of Kata, and they're breaking it down, there's another man in the picture. But in 1955, which is after the war, they reissued the book with the Kata's in picture by picture, but they left the other man out, because you could put two and two together. And in 1917, he makes a bold statement in there that all the moves in Kata were created to kill. They are made to drop the opponent. And he, he is the founder of this ancient kind of Kata. If you don't know that, Gishin Funakoshi is the one that made it up. And he says he made it up for basic grappling so that students, when they learned higher Katas, would understand it faster. So if I just started the out with an empty, or a Basai, <clears throat> and told you that that was grappling, you wouldn't understand it. But he created this kata so you could understand it. It's just we didn't learn it that way. We learned block, punch, block, punch. Where in reality, he shows the move, and the kata opens up with this hand motion, and then this motion, and then this motion. And he shows a punch coming at him, and he shows attacking the hit point on the arm to vibrate the nerve. And he shows this trapping and going to here, and he shows this going to there. Doesn't that look like a down block with a, out the man in the picture? In other words, 1955, they just say down block, and that's all the further your mind will go. But in 1917, he's the man that made up that kata. He shows trapping. That's picture one. Picture two, which could be a hit point. <coughs> picture three. And 
And that's why you're here. And that's why you're here. And then, he said, Moose can kill him. There's no chance of killing him if I punch him in the solar plex. But if I straight punch now with a step, there's a real big chance of killing him because of what you've seen of the setting up the nerve, the setting up the nerve. And if I even, and he don't even have to stretch it, if I even touch here, touch here, and just basically touch there, he's going down. If I punch him there, if I punch him there, he's going down for real. And then the kata he shows stepping the other way. And everybody goes like this to develop power. He says you never turn around in a kata unless someone is on you from behind or to do further damage to the man in front of you. Everybody understand that? So I don't turn around to block his kick. I don't know he's going to kick. He shows a picture of a man reaching around like this for a bear hug, coming for a bear hug, no, just around the arms, and he shows this move as stopping the bear hug grab. He shows this power. That's why in the kata you go like this before you turn around. That's why that. And he shows picture number one, bear hug. Picture number two, he shows grabbing a finger on a pressure point right here that'll put the guy right to that position. And doesn't that look like a down block? Doesn't it? And then the punch would be. That's what he shows. Do you do that kata? Do that kata. Does that make sense? So people that are working on the kata, let me tell you something. I've seen karate in my 30 years go from 100% adults to 70% children. You know that karate is over 70% children today? That's because we were giving children's explanations for these moves. We were not giving adult explanations to adults. And a lot of people would say, well, the katas are crap. That's why they stopped doing katas. That's why they started creating kickboxing and every other alternative because they didn't really know why they were doing the moves. And because they didn't know, they just made up other things. And they went with lifting weight, strength, hit harder, let's kickbox, let's do this. Do that cut. The whole, uh, up to the, the, the punch. Block, punch, block, punch, block, punch, punch, punch. Watch his hands. Do your move. Yes. Did you see the hands come like this though? And then go like that. Okay, go back this way. You have the third punch. Okay, stop. Yeah, you got it, you got it. Third punch, stop. Bring the hands like this. What are you doing there? What are you doing on the spin? Do your spin, what are you doing there? The way I see it really. The way you were taught. The way I was turning to a down block. To a down block. You mean we're out in the street. Now watch this. We're out in the street. You stand right here. How long have you been doing this, Kata? Probably close to 10 years. 10 years. And for 10 years, for 10 years you thought your next opponent was there. Correct. If you were out in a street fight, and you just dropped the guy with your best move, and your next opponent was there, wouldn't you go like this? <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, it's you and your buddy. I just dork, boom, I'm so powerful with the karate, bang, he went down. Would I really go? <laughs> Block. Block your kick. Would you even think about kicking if I was coming like this? No, you went like a dork man. <laughs> This can be, but here's why they didn't show you the answer. Do you know what the answer to that move is? The answer to that move is great. Your opponent's here. He's not over there. He's here. When you take the head and divide it in four, you have to pay attention to that because they're quadrangles. 
If you try to pull somebody's hair, resist them. You can't. If I try to pull somebody's hair, you can't. So when you have cottage that tell me that you're pulling somebody down and you're hitting them on your knee, that's also wrong. You can't do it. There's no little person here can grab a big person. By the head and bring that head to the knee for this kind of a cut. How many people do a cut that does that? How many people have a cut that goes like this, like this, and turns the other direction? If I grab to pull, you can resist. If I grab to pull, you can resist. But if I grab with this hand, in the opposite back quadrangle, you cannot resist. I can, could break your neck, you heard you snap? That was just some energy stuff, it did better now. <laughs> you walk like this. <laughs> Kishi Funakoshi shows a move of a guy grabbing. Two hands if you want, no matter. And it could be one hand or two hands. Remember the pressure points that I showed you to hit here or here? Primarily back here that bend the knees. I can't grab the opposite back quadrangle. Understand? I can't reach him. Kishin Funakoshi shows the strike to here so that I can reach him. Doesn't this look like the move? And the turn, he says, <laughs> if, if you do the turn full, all the way, you will into the neck on the whiplash. That's why it's a low punch. I really, I really want to grab your head and spin to there and punch you if you try to get up. Or even punch you while you're in the process is what he recommend. I don't want to wait on dumb spins. I want to punch you while you're in the process of getting spun for dizziness. Does that make sense? So, they didn't teach that move. For 10 years, and I'm saying this because I did this kata 25 or 30 years before I found the answer. <coughs> so I'm trying to help you people. In fact, that's what makes me mad because I'm actually trying to help you and the martial arts and then some people want to get mad at me and say blah, 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 blah. And I'm out to help them. You know how many people are all over the And we take here. You went to these. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's what I wanted it. Because I have a lot of hair, I wanted that hair. Once you get that hair and you go that way, they're going. But it can't be here. No, don't resist me. It can't be here. It gotta be over there. Opposite quad right here. You do a pack that goes like this. Do that. Just a move. Just a move. Not the whole pack. <clears throat> what are you doing there? It's just a Behind you. What are you doing here? It's a grab behind the head. But would you ever use that? And do you think you could grab a head and pull it after what you'll see? How many people like to know what that move is for? <laughs> Not you? <laughs> <laughs> you have positive and negative electricity in your body. Does everybody understand that? Positive and negative electricity. If I took your positive and negative terminals out in your car and went like that, what would happen? Sparks would fly. If I held them together, the battery could blow up. That hand is positive. That hand is negative. Your quadrangles, stand up. Your quadrangles, this is positive. This is negative, right on this quarter. This is negative. 
This is positive. This is positive. This is negative. I'm hitting in a fist fight, negative to negative, positive to positive. That's why we don't find it in boxing or fist fighting. If you want to hurt somebody, you add positive to negative. If anybody wants to feel this, I will just make sparks fly with adding positive to negative. I will not hit you hard. Stand up and I'll just go around the room and let you feel it lightly. I want you to watch this though. Watch. Keep your teeth together. Now you've got to keep your teeth together so I don't break it too. Keep it together. I feel electricity climb up. Just keep your teeth together. Understand that? I have a pressure point here that'll bring the head down. <laughs> All right? In other words, in other words, let me show you that move in the cockpit. You're feeling that. You're feeling just one side of it. Keep your teeth together. Any doubt that'll make you pass out? <laughs> if we do both sides, you will pass out. You're feeling one side. But if you really, are you okay? If you really did both sides, and then did that knee, those points connect like everything you've seen. But let me tell you something else. Did I do you yet? What you were doing, well, I, won't, I won't do the moment, I'll just talk you through it. Let's say he grabbed me. Let's say I did this to him. Does that look like the move? Then I did this to him, which would bring him down. What is the next move? No, turn the other way and do this. In other words, you're not turning the other way tonight. Or I did one side of the head. If you try that when you leave here, you go back to your dojo or whatever you have a buddy you try that with. I want to be honest, this movie only can try it once. You felt the electricity climb? If I did the D, I can't go right back and do it again. In other words, if I did you on this side, I can't go back and do it again, and I certainly don't want to do the other side. Got that? And you never want to do both sides at the same time. Now that you know that connection. It doesn't mean you will injure them, but there is a chance. And I don't take, I don't take a 1% chance of injuring the seminar. I'd rather not work and come back later than, than really injure you for that moment. What's the capacity Just make sure your teeth are shut, because I've had people that have broke their dentures or their teeth and their false teeth, and I just make sure that, and I also let you know that you don't feel that at all. The average guy can take a shot from an average guy in the jaw. That's why they don't knock each other out. Let you have what they call a glass jaw, I can hit you in the jaw. I just let you know you can teeth together. That, that, that ain't gonna hurt you. You don't feel that don't compare to that one. And that's letting you know what's happening in the cock. And you do the cock. Anytime you do the cock that move, it takes in consideration pressure points, angle and direction. I got one here, I uh This is a big guy. This guy's 260 pounds. Okay? You people earn the arm points today, right? <coughs> yes? Yes. yes. Sir. yes. <laughs> if I just touch this arm point, if I just touch this arm point, what is this? Positive. Is this positive? Yes? What is this? What is this? It's negative. negative. What is that? Positive. How many people do an arm pin a block? How many people do that? You have a copy you go like this, everybody, no tell you know. Sure. And they tell you all men a block. I tell you on my videotape that that doesn't augment anything. I tell you on my videotape they call that an augment a block. And I make a little joke, I say, run out, look that up in your Funkin' Wagnum. That's a dictionary. Everybody thinks that this is a dirt. It's a dictionary. Funkin' Wagnum? Augmented block. Augmented means to help. 
It ain't helping anything out here. But if I touch this point with negative on the positive part of the arm, and I touch that point with negative on the positive side of the face, doesn't that look like an augmented block? Yes? yes. <coughs> and the two short him out. This is a 260 pound guy. I did this to him last week and, and he said it was okay to do it this week because this makes it as clear as not that these are not blocks. You gotta keep your jaw shut. I'm gonna lock with this. Augmented block. Besides those pupils? Okay, you can sit there, man. That's one of Dan's students, right, Dan? Give him a round of applause.